New York Times reporter Mark Landler directed a volley of questions at President Obama and Chinese President Xi Jinping during a press conference with the two leaders on Wednesday. Several months ago in Shanghai at a conference, you said uh, it is for the Asians to run the affairs of Asia. I wonder whether you're concerned that this strategic pivot represents an effort to uh, contain China. And then if I may lastly, on a, on a parochial on, issue, on a parochial issue, uh, several news organizations uh, from the United States um, have had uh, issues uh, with residency permits uh, in China being denied, uh, including the New York Times. I'm wondering in the spirit of these uh, visa, reciprocal visa arrangements that you've uh, agreed to this week with business people and students, uh, isn't it time to extend that sort of right to foreign correspondents uh, who seek to cover your country. After Mr. Obama answered his part, Xi removed his headset to signal he was moving on. Mr. Obama smiled and shrugged. President Xi Jinping will take a question from a member of the Chinese press. He did finally answer Landler's question, though. It's perfectly normal for there to be different views expressed about us in the international media. And I don't think it's worth fussing over these different views. And I don't see any of the regional free trade arrangements as targeting against China. China is committed to open regionalism. And China protects our citizens' freedom of expression and the normal rights and the interests of media organizations in accordance with law. On the other hand, media outlets need to obey China's laws and regulations.